Oh, it's like a game. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to solo leveling episode three called It's Like a Game. If you like solo leveling, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you yeah. want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's jump straight into this. And we're back. Solo leveling. I will say that this show. Oh my gosh, look at Jin Woo. Remember, they like absolutely tortured him in the last episode. Oh yes, and he was lying on that platform when the, when it ended. If I had one more chance. Wait, what? He woke up in the hospital. And his limbs are back. It looks like he's missing a leg. What? So we did see that thing come up, like a game. And then I was even thinking the episode was continuing. Or maybe it was. I thought it was the end. Bro, does that guy not look like Megumi? <laughs> Fushiguru. I'm Wu Jinchul, manager of the Hunters Association. I was unconscious for three days. Yeah, we know he lost an arm. Oh yes, remember I said that she's completely petrified. But how did Jinwoo get out? This is interesting. And yet somehow you survived or something. Oh, they were alerted. And he had his legs and stuff. At least have you experienced a second awakening? Is that when they get their powers? Yes, here we go. We're going to get some information. A hunter can go through a second awakening. Oh, wow. It makes you rank up. Interesting. A mana meter. So basically... Wow. Insta kill level. 10. <laughs> He's still E, right? Usually manage higher than 70. He's basically a civilian. <laughs> but that's very weird. I'm very interested to know what happened to him over there. Oh, he's got like a Neuralink type thing. Oh, his sister. This is a way different direction that the show is going in that I wasn't expecting at all. You've become a player. Strength training has arrived. May result in a penalty. Oh, if he speaks. Push ups. Oh my gosh, he's literally doing Saitama's um, training. A hundred of everything, and then a 10k run. Oh, and he's got a certain time. To do it in. This guy is literally Megumi's character design. Miss Cha. Wasn't she the one who did that like backflips and stuff up the building? And she's like super famous, unless she was S rank. Oh wow, a portal's opening in the middle of the city. A gate. 
But he hasn't done any of his twists, it seems. Oh my gosh. This is it. Are you telling me like... Damn. What is happening here? Damn, sandworm. Giant desert centipede. Survive for four hours. Man, I would literally shit my pants. Wait, but... I mean, so he's been running for two hours. And I bet you when he is finished with the training, he's just going to end up back in the hospital bed. Okay, in the hospital room, but, you know. And if you run for four hours, you'll be finished. And especially at that high level. Very interesting show. Leaves a lot to the mind. Isn't that Joey? I am sure if Oh, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm sure if she sees Jinwu, it will bring her back. Oh, so now he's fully training. <laughs> Let's go, Jinwu. I figured out a few things, damn. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. Daily request, damn. All that exhaustion gone in a flash. Imagine, imagine you had that. Damn, and he's, he has stats that he adds to. Crazy. This is cool, I like this. Oh, it's like a game. It's like they always mention the title in the episode. Oh, and he gets loot boxes as well. The key. Key? Instance dungeon? What is that? An instance dungeon. This is going to be interesting to see where it goes. Because, like, he's got a grasp on everything very quickly. You know, there's no one who has to, like, try explain things to him. You know, you can kind of just see it and be like, Okay, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. And he's getting stronger now. And, like, he's figuring it out by himself within, like, four days. Oh, yes, his mom... I was in the hospital. お母さんが目を覚まさないんだ。ゲートが出現してから見られるようになった病で数万人に一人の割合で発症します。一説によれば、マナに長時間さらされることが要因だとか。いずれにせよ、現在の医学では延命治療が精一杯です。ダムス
it's all very like augmented in a way you know like very digital like a digital overlay that you can sort of move in and out of you know like most things you think is very much like it's more mana and magic based but this literally just seems well at least the things for him seem very like digital based i mean a separate dimension oh but i mean look they he's getting all the information that he needs right so it's kind of like it's a help like imagine he just couldn't get out now and then he didn't get any clues to anything and he's got what 28 strength now so i'm sure you could probably cut something down oh the goblins i mean he's gonna wipe these guys out quickly Like, it really is like a game, to be honest. <laughs> oh! Damn, let's go, Chinwu. There's that confidence. It reminds me of these, like, I don't know what you would call them. I actually forgot. But in Elden Ring, when you go to like... Oh my gosh, is that the boss? Damn. Oh my gosh, it's got a metal jaw. Steel fanged lichen. Maybe it's because his... Agility is low or something. Or... Like, maybe there's another stat that, like, is maybe for heart. Oh my gosh, it's calling more or not. Go with the fists. Damn, man. <laughs> that was good. I was, I was so excited at the end there to be like... You no, know, because, like, in my head, I saw him grabbing the thing by its jaw and just like ripping it apart really good episode though i'm i'm actually really enjoying what i'm seeing like i won't lie in the past there's been some of these animes that i've seen where it's you know it's like they go into a video game or something and i've never like i've never really liked them. i've never been sort of drawn towards them because i'm always like ah you know it's kind of overplayed but what's interesting about this is how it's like the game has come to him. So it's like he's still in real life, but he's got his like own start menu basically with his objectives and his quests. And he's got the whole Saitama workout routine, you know, with the 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats. I don't know what the other thing is. 100 pull-ups maybe and then a 10k run. So that was cool to see. And then... You know, just he's getting rewards and loot boxes and now he has this key for the instance dungeon and he's gone in there now. Defeated three goblins. So it's going to be interesting to see what he does with this steel fanged lichen. Which, I mean, destroyed his actual blade, his knife that he was using. But, you know, still very, very cool, very intense things i mean obviously the only thing i'm puzzled about you know is where does it all sort of come from you know most likely it's from that god that he faced in that first in that dungeon but then just the fact that he was like he they found him and he had all his limbs intact and he was in hospital and then he was able he's able to go to all these different dimensions like when he went for training right he went to that desert and he ran for four hours straight, which is like, what? And then he just, like, gets transported back. So it's going to be interesting to see, like, who's in control, who gave him that ability. My theory is basically that that god, he passed the test of all those things. And that's what he got given now. That's why they asked him, you have 
0.02 seconds to decide before your heart stops will you accept this and he obviously said yes some way and now we're over here so really good i'm actually really enjoying solo leveling but that's going to be it for me if you like solo leveling smash that like button follow my channel if you want to subscribe and hit the notification bell because you know i'm releasing every single day of the week i'm gonna leave the last episode right up over here thanks for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit